the Gruffalo's child. The Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo should ever set foot in the deep dark wood. Why not? Why not? Because if you do, the big bad mouse will be after you. I met him once, said the Gruffalo. I met him a long, long time ago. What does he look like? Tell me, Dad. It's heat air bunny, big and air bunny, bad. I can't quite remember, the Gruffalo said. Then he thought for a minute and scratched his head. The big bad mouse, it's air bunny, strong, and his scaly tail, it's air bunny, long. His eyes are like pools of terrible fire, and his terrible whiskers are tougher than wire. One snowy night, while the gruff was snored, the gruff was child was feeling bored. The gruff was child was feeling brave. So she tiptoed out of the Gruffalo cave. The snow fell fast, and the wind blew wild. Into the wood went the Gruffalo's child. Aha! Ooh! A trail in the snow. Whose is this trail? And where does it go? A tail poked out of a log pile house. Could this be the tail of the big bad mouse? Out snapped the creature. His eyes were small, and he didn't have whiskers. No, none at all. You're not the mouse, not I," said the snake. "He's down by the lake, eating gruffalo cake." The snow fell fast, and the wind blew wild. "I'm not scared," said the gruffalo's child.